Okay, y'all. I got potatoes from Burger King. I got this drink from Dunkin's, which is new. I'm going to be rating this for y'all. I didn't want this. I wanted green tea lemonade. They actually end up giving me the wrong drink. This is a, a kiwi watermelon refresher lemonade. Hmm. This is good. Nine out of ten. Try this out when I go to Dunkin's. It's the kiwi watermelon lemonade refresher. It's good. I would give this a nine out of ten. It's a nice little springish summer drink. So. Y'all see this beef with um, Yanni in Brooklyn, Queen, and Troy? I'm going to tell you this. I'm not even going to get into the whole thing of whether that thing happened in Brooklyn's room with Yanni and Brooklyn's ex or whether I think she's lying or not. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. I ain't going to get into that whole thing. Um... But what I'm going to say is for Brooklyn, I'm not taking no sides. They're both for young, beautiful girls, and I wish they could just stop this madness because it's just crazy. Um, what I'm going to say is if Troy is, like, with Yanni, Uh, he's still texting you. Why are you responding? Why are you still talking to him? She gonna say, oh, it's my phone. Um, I'll do what I want on my phone. He's hitting me up. I'm not hitting him up. But he's in a relationship. So why entertain somebody that's even in a relationship, especially somebody that's in a relationship with somebody you beefing with. Why keep talking to him? Don't you know that that situation is going to continue to get messy? And for Yanni, you going to need to figure out why you keep going back to this boy. Because he's a boy, not a man. Why you keep going back to this boy that obviously, you know what I mean, like can't be faithful. Why? You need to check him at the front door. Because why is you texting the ops? Huh? Why is you texting and talking to her? He's the messy one, in my opinion. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to say this. The reason why I didn't comment on the whole Yanni with Brooklyn's eggs in the room and daughter, I'm going to tell you the reason why I won't even get into that. Because I'm going to tell you the person that I think is at fault. Want to know who I think is at fault? The mom. You rather act like a friend than act like a mom. And that's the truth. What are you doing having a Mardi Gras party at your house? And having your young daughter's uh, ex stay there. And there's another female there. And he has access to be in and out the room. And these young girls are comfortable drinking liquor around you and getting drunk. And uh, the, the, the guy was apparently high. Like, what are you doing? What type of examples are you setting as a mom? You stop acting like a friend and start acting like a mom. That's who's really at fault for this nonsense. Because if she was conducting herself as a better mother, and I'm going to say this. And it's no shade. Because I like her mom. I like Brooklyn. I like Yanni. It's no shade to it. I like all of them, to be honest. But truth is truth. 
that should not have been taking place at her house. And that's 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 who's at fault. That is the adult in this situation. She should have had enough sense to not have all that stuff going on in her house. With with two young um, women. Girls. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. I ain't even getting into whether it's true or not. Because it sh shouldn't have been going down like that. Period. Anyways. I hope they could um, squash this beef. I'm going to keep them in prayer. Anyways. Love you guys. Bye.